All right, so earning passive income while in the military is one of the absolute best kept secrets. In this episode, I'm gonna talk about earning military passive income while serving in the military. All right, so first I'm gonna talk about the definition of passive income. Then I'm gonna talk about why I needed passive income. And by the end of this episode, you're gonna know exactly how to set up your military passive income. All right, so first, what is passive income? So passive, if you look up the definition, it happens whether you do anything or not. That's literally the definition of passive. Now income, on the other hand, is money coming into you, into your bank account, into your wallet, into your mailbox, but I love when it goes directly into my bank account. So passive and income, the income comes in without you having to do anything to have make it happen. Now, granted, let's, let's be real. Nothing in life happens without us. So we have to actually do those steps, do the work, do the, the task, do the mission to make that passive income roll in without us having to get off the couch. So there are some things we have to do in the first place to make that passive income while in the military happen. So when I joined the military, I had actually uh, had a business and then bought a rental property and then moved to the coast, got rid of my business, gave my business away and started selling real estate. So in 2008, the real estate industry completely just crumbled out from underneath me. Like it's like somebody pulled out the rug out from underneath my feet. So I started looking for some other options. My grandfather that I looked up to so much, he said, you know, Brent, go back to college, get another start, look into different things. So I started looking into going back to school, but I didn't have the money to pay for it. And I knew the military would actually offer me, you know, offer me that ability to go back to school while they paid for it. So I actually signed up. I literally signed up to go to basic training October 2009. I was in basic training, but here's the thing. I took a huge pay cut, you know, I went from being a business owner, I had a rental property, I had a real estate license, and then all that stopped. And I was literally like going into debt every single month because I was like literally using a credit card to pay my electric bill, you know? And I had to end up moving back in with my in-laws. We had to live with my in-laws because that's how little my money was. So when I joined the military, I went in as an E1 and I was making next to nothing while I was in the military. So going back to why I needed military passive income was I had to get an additional revenue source. The E1 pay just wasn't cutting it. So in basic training, I would like literally pull fire guard. I would like help iron dress blues. I would make the other dudes beds. And I was doing all this stuff for extra money and no one really understood it, but I had a house payment to make too because my renter had just moved out. So I literally had a house payment. I had to pay for my wife to live in an apartment and food as well because she wasn't working at the time either. And luckily we had no kids. We just had a regular, a, a dog, but I had to catch up on some bills. So the military passive income was a must, but I hadn't quite accomplished it yet. I was doing some extra jobs. So if you notice, I was working a lot, like I'm, I'm doing pulling fire guard shifts. So I'm not getting a lot of sleep at night. I'm ironing clothes. I'm, I'm literally making beds in the army to make extra money. That is a reverse opposite of passive income. There was nothing passive about it. Then I go to AIT, I'm still pulling fire guard ship when the guys are leaving on the weekends, I'm making extra money. But by the time I got to my first duty station, now I'm starting to make a little passive income because I finally got my house rented out. Now I'm earning passive income. So I did three years in Germany and then did a couple deployments in Afghanistan by that time. And it's now 2013 and I just, and finally accomplishing the dream of going back to school. The army literally sent me to college in an active duty green to gold program. So I purchased this property right next to the college and I ended up getting two roommates and these roommates were paying me enough each month to cover the mortgage, the utilities, the lights, the water, the sewer, all that stuff. And after everything was paid, that left $100 a month on top of all the expenses. So I was literally making $100 a month to live in this house, plus the roommates were paying for everything. That was when I first started passive income after that rental property. So now I had the first rental. Now I'm doing something called house hacking and that was okay. You know, I bought another rental property. I was able to do a cash out refi on that house hack and bought another rental and then bought another one shortly thereafter. But one thing I realized is I'm going back in debt again, buying these houses and fixing them up. I haven't quite created my passive income besides the rental properties and the tenants paying me that, that live with me, my roommates. Well, fast forward to about 2015, I stumbled on the holy grail 
of passive income while serving in the military. So 2015, I'm now moving to Fort Carson, Colorado. Um, by this time, I'm now a brand new Army officer. I'm an O1, so I literally went from E1 to E5 and then to O1 because I did the active duty green and gold program and commissioned as an O1 officer. So here we go, we hit the ground running in Colorado. I'm working like 13 hours a day crazy hours, always in the field, always working, but I'm still searching for answers on how I can make more income while in the military because now I have a brand new baby. I have a newborn. We just moved across the country, me and my wife. We had a dog. We bought a new house, all these things, and I'm working 13 hours a day. So things are starting to add up and pressure me, and I'm like, man, I should be making more money. So I'm listening to podcasts, kind of like this channel to where, and I hope you have subscribed by now and also smash that like button on this video. And if you haven't done so yet, it's okay. But as a thank you to me, please definitely subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna talk more about passive income, but I was searching for answers, searching for ways to bring in more passive income. So I heard this guy on a podcast talking about him buying and selling land. And he's buying this land at crazy, crazy discounts. Like, I mean 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar and flipping this stuff overnight and doubling and tripling his money. So I took heed to that advice. There's one thing that that I can definitely take credit for and it's one thing I've done in my life. When I hear a good idea, I take action right away or I plan for it to happen by actually blocking time in my schedule. So I was able to pull over safely <laughs> on the way to work and I put it in my calendar that I'm gonna have passive income in the next 45 days and I'm gonna time block every single morning. And I picked up a book like just recently before that called The Miracle Morning. So I was already implementing that Miracle Morning where I would get up at 4 a.m every single morning, two hours before I had to be on base doing physical training. So from four to six was my miracle morning. So I put in my calendar that in the next 45 days, I'm gonna have passive income coming in. I didn't know how, I was just gonna have it done. So I heard that podcast. And then that night, I went and got a list of people, of people behind on their taxes, that weren't paying their taxes for their vacant raw land. And then I started mailing these guys a postcard, a postcard that said, very simply, and I'll give you this as a free gift at the end of this video, but the postcard said, hey, my name is Brent. I'd like to buy your, your land at 123 Main Street. If you're interested in an all cash offer, fair offer, text me or call me, God bless, Brent. So I sent this postcard out to 687 parcels of land of people that were behind on their taxes. And these people were motivated enough to give me a call to say, hey, I'd like to sell this land. So out of the, out of the 87 phone calls I received from those 687 postcards that I sent out, I'm telling you, this is a great postcard. I've actually used it to buy tens of millions of dollars worth of real estate to this day. But I only called about, about 20 of those people. I dropped the ball. I should have called all 87 of them back, but I was working 13 hour days. I had a newborn baby. I wanted to see my wife. All these excuses, that's all it was. All the excuses. So I called 20 of them back and out of those 20, I did two land deals within that next couple weeks. So the first one, I paid $285 for that parcel of land and sold it to a realtor for $5,000 like the next day. The second parcel of land I paid 500 bucks for not a buildable parcel of land. It actually wasn't accessible. It was wrapped, uh, uh, state land owned all around it. So technically I couldn't even get to it without trespassing against state land. But I got it under contract. I got photos of the land and I put it on Craigslist for $500 down and 400 a month. I sold it within a week for $500 down and $400 a month. But this changed my entire paradigm. It changed everything for me because I now have $400 a month coming in every single month for the next nine months. So I got $500 down and the guy made nine payments of $400 until he paid the land off. But this gave me a, such a different way of thinking. It gave me one, it gave me passive income. Two, it was literally time freedom because I knew I had just replaced my truck payment. I knew I just had to replace this at least 10 more times and I'd have $4,400 a month coming in every single month and that's all my bills were each month. By the time I did this, it took me six months. That was my military passive income. And you can do the same exact thing by going out there and buying very inefficient, vacant, raw land at very affordable prices. If you're looking for someone to hold your hand while you do this, I'd be honored to do it. Head on over to wholesalinginc.com forward slash land. Schedule a call with me and my team. We'd be 
very interested to see what your real estate investing goals are. And if we feel like we're a great fit, I'd be honored to coach you and walk you down the path, be your Sherpa, hold your hand, tell you exactly how to do it, when to do it, and be there to answer the questions when you need help. Guys, if you're interested in hearing you know, a story about one of my students. It's actually my father. I got to interview my father recently on a Wholesaling Inc. podcast. And that episode is just below. You just click the drop down arrow. You can click on the link to that episode. Listen to that episode. My dad was within literally hours of losing his land and his home to foreclosure. Him and my mom, that worked, they worked so hard to build that house on that 21 acres that they purchased out in Florida. They were within hours of losing the foreclosure before they filed for bankruptcy. And now my father has done over 50 land deals, 50 land deals that saved my mom and his uh, financial freedom, their financial future, and their, ultimately their retirement.